Mary Jo of Off the Trails. I'm here at San Francisco International Airport. Beautiful friend. And Greg's on camera. Say hi, Greg. Hi, everyone. And as you may have guessed from my greeting, we're about to embark on our Off the Trails most exciting trip yet. We're going to the of Steve Irwin, Crocodile Dundee, and Down Under. That's right, Australia. And even though it's a beautiful, warm June day in this hemisphere, in Australia, we're beginning the winter, so it's going to be a little bit different for us. We want you to come along with us, explore Australia, and discover some of its beautiful hidden gems. Make some of the things, find some of the things that make Australia really fascinating. We're going to be stopping first at Sydney, and then moving on to Alice Springs, Melbourne, Cannes, Brisbane, on the mainland, and then going down to Hobart in Tasmania. Tasmania is just off the coast of mainland Australia. No matter what you like to do, we're going to have something for you. If you like earth sports, the city, the brush, fine dining, pub dining, snorkeling, beautiful botanical gardens, or the forest, we're going to have something for you to do. So come along with us and join us for our exploration of Australia. And if you come along with us, you won't even have to come on the plane flight, which is 14 hours. So come on. Well, here we are in Sydney. And this is the rooftop garden of the Russell Hotel where we're staying for the next few days. It's a beautiful day. There's a pretty park right across the street. And we're looking forward to going over there and exploring it. And I also see shopping. And here's the entrance to the Russell Hotel. Beautiful old historic building. Right here in town in Sydney. Down the street. I'm hoping to convince Greg to walk in the next day or two. Looking down the other side of the street, we've got all the modern buildings. Such a wonderful mix. Here's where we're going to lunch. The oldest spices pub in Oh, my God. We're so excited. It's the Sydney Opera House. This view around Sydney Harbour. The bridge. Some of the sightseeing boats take you around the harbor. And the water taxi. With you all the way around the harbor. We're in the land down under. country is so much off the trails for so many people in North America and Europe. You can see it's not really crowded at all. You having a good time, Greg? I sure am. <laughs> good day. Good day. from a slightly different angle. Mm -hmm. And another 
fur boat. What a beautiful day. Hi, we're in the Rocks area of Sydney, and this is where the first penal colony was. All around me I see these beautiful old buildings, but originally this is where the convicts lived and worked. Behind me is Cadman's Cottage, and this was built in 1860. It was the cottage on the top, the living quarters, and the working space was down below. Later on it was used as headquarters by the Sydney Water Police. We're about to go inside, so come and join us. Hey, okay, we're inside. And I see the original flooring here. It goes down a whole lot deeper than this flooring that's up here now. We're looking at some prison shackles that were once used way back in the early 1800s. This room was built in 1847 and may have housed prison cells. The interesting thing is all the drainage systems that are down here is constantly being changed and remodeled and revamped. And even today, drainage is a site is a problem on this site. Well, here's what the rocks looks like today. And here's a monument to Captain Bly, 1754 to 1817. You may remember that he was the one in the Mutiny and the Bounty that the seamen revolted against. We're about to go to the Rocks Market. It's right here on George Street. Like they've got a lot of things for sale, so let's go in and look around. Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5.